Hi everyone, Soul Super Seventeen here. Let me first as usual. I don't know this pictures. I made the thumbnail, not paid video. Alright, okay. So here's the thing. I kinda went back and looked at the video somewhat, basically. I, I went on to like a few things and I did forget though from the series, Sakura has an inner version of herself. So and I never really used inner Sakura. So in a sense, I'm kinda making Sakura's family be how should I say very different somewhat basically than normal humans in the Naruto verse. But they are. It's just that they can use some type of other, you know, stuff. Zelda's reincarnation, um, I thought about it. I am not making it like Hanata, but it is gonna be someone in the Hidden Leaf Village that would I think would make a whole lot more sense than Hanata. Um because to me basically wisdom you know, the wisdom of Triforce would have technically taken an effect on that person, not control their life, but take effect on that person a lot more than you know, than the Triforce of Courage. It gives you overwhelming courage, but also some other things, but I think wisdom is a a lot more powerful to actually help someone with their mind. I know, it's not going to be Sakura. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, especially, I just kind of realized by the whisker marks, it wasn't really a concrete one, but it does make sense, like I thought. But at the same time, I did not want that to be the truth. So, I'm kind of just going to add some more to that. And this one, it's going to be kind of introducing who Zelda is. Basically, there's been a genjutsu around where the Triforce is on her. That's all I'm going to say. But basically, she's a, she's a part of Naruto's class. And she'll be one of the Gendings that have, will be passing. So, anyways, you may hear my mom talking to my dog or yelling or something. But basically, don't mind it. But yeah, let's just get this started. <clears throat> so, this is what if Naruto was the reincarnation of the hero of Twilight, part 2. So, <clears throat> we technically have the day where, well, it's the next day, basically. Naruto has been sleeping, but he basically suddenly gets pulled to his mindscape. And he sees Karama. He goes, yo, dad, why you calling me to wake me up? And then he stretches and yawns after that. He was like, listen, son, remember I told you I only had so long until... Which, he eyes wide, and he goes, uh, uh, yeah. So you're going to have to only have, like, one tail left. To which he nods. He goes, if the realm of twilight basically comes here, you'll be able to transform into a fox. Or, well, <laughs> even the realm of light. Which, he does kind of nod. He goes, like, I didn't get it until... Minna told me about Link and her adventure. It all made sense now. Basically, mini flashback, where Naruto is about 10 years old. He's basically, you know, doing chaijutsu in you know, front of Kurama. Basically, while he's behind the cage, he goes, Naruto. He goes, uh, yes, Dad? He goes, I need to tell you something. I've been trying to figure out how to say this to you after all this time, but I can only say this, well... As blunt as I can. He goes, uh, yeah, what is it? I lose eight tails of my chakra. Which he was like, huh? Well, I mean, I lose eight tails of my chakra. And when the day comes where something will happen, you will be able to turn into a fox with nine tails. Which he goes, but wait, how? He goes, he basically puts up a, Paul, well, basically his hand, basically make Naruto stop. He goes, that will be explained in a time. I don't know when it'll happen, but please remember this. I still will be here. With only one tail of my chakra. So do not worry, Naruto. Which, Naruto basically nods. He was like, uh, okay, Dad. Whatever you say. So basically, you know, flashback ends. He goes, uh-huh. The process will be starting soon. I'll still be here. I can't leave because if I die, 
you'll die too. Am I right? Which he does not. And he goes like, also, should, shouldn't we tell Jiraiya about what he did? He goes, yes, the Namikaze. He basically says, because of Minato, he goes, uh, you will have never even got the whisker marks to begin with. The whole entire explanation of my chakra being a part of you from the day of your birth makes sense. But technically speaking, it wouldn't. It makes sense if you really think about it, in actuality. You're goddamn the Namakaze Minato. It was, I know. He put a seal on me just so I would have the whisker marks and everyone would think I'm the Nine Tail Fox. I was, this, I was basically his precious daughter's scapegoat. <sighs> well, it doesn't really matter. Which, basically, Karama nods. He was like, luckily we were able to break it. <laughs> uh, that Namakaze has nothing compared to my chakra. Well, it ain't tainted like it, that your sister has, but it's still enough chakra to break it and corrode it. He goes, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Biju Chakra. It works wonders for healing. And basically breaking seals. Which, basically, Karama nods. So he basically just says, also, you're going to wake up in a weird situation for the first time. Just take deep breath in and out. Which he goes, huh? Well, even as all of a sudden, Karama kicks him out. So what happens is very simple. Well, technically, actually... Life well, is very simple. On the way, Naruto's leaving his mindset. Karama says, Also, tell the perverts the truth. Which he goes, Alright, Dad, and I hate you for this. As basically, Karama basically just grins at that because Naruto's gone. He goes, Ugh, this is gonna be painful. As basically, he puts it, you know, he lays on his arms. So, when Naruto wakes up, he basically is to the morning sound of birds chirping. And then he feels like he knows he's laying on his side, but he feels like someone's holding him. And, well, he's like, huh? Wait, I'm not. I don't remember having someone. I don't remember holding something or having someone holding me. So then when he looks down, he sees orange hair and pointed ears. And he goes, like, Minda? Before he can even try to wake her up, she basically. It's having a dream of adventures with Link. Basically, it's saying like, Link, I'm sorry. You know, sort of thing. Because, if you really think about it, Minna was with Link all that time. I do believe she may have actually had feelings for Link, but never chose to because she was from a different... She and, she and Link were from two different worlds. So, in a sense, I believe that it... Kind of makes sense since Link was wanting to go go to Link to even save her. So she could have felt in love with him after that. If you guys don't know, yeah. That, that's like a couple of hours in the game. That's what I believe. So, that's my belief. I'm going to stick with that. So, and it's also random from the comic, you know, the manga. It, it looks a little bit like that to me. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry if no one likes that idea, but... That's what I think. Um, please just enjoy the video. But yeah, anyway, so Naruto looks at her and he can't help but have a sad smile on his face. So instead of waking her up, he just puts an arm around her, you know, basically not pulling her to a hug, just puts his arm around her. And then she has a small smile. But after a few minutes, though, she would have woken up anyway, so. She basically just like blinking. She goes, "Wait, what hat?" And she realized she feels like someone's arm is right behind her back. And when she looks up, he goes, "Morning." She's about to scream, but then he basically covers her mouth. He goes, "Shh, I don't know if the pervert's up." She goes, and then she just nods. So, in a sense, after he lets go of her, you know, basically takes his hand off her mouth and stops just hugging her. Basically, um, she basically goes like, I, uh, I'm, he goes, it's fine. It looks like you're having a nightmare or something. Which she just kind of chuckles a little, goes like, you can say something like that. Which he does, he 
basically just looks at her and just, you know, for a few minutes and then just, like, gets off the bed and just stretch. He's like, well, Midna, I'm going to wake up the, well, Dariah. You can go back in my shadow if you want. She just nods and does. So, Naruto goes out towards, you know, where Jiraiya was sleeping on the couch. But then he sees Jiraiya's cooking breakfast. He goes, morning, brat. He's like, <laughs> hey there, pervy sage. He's like, uh, <sighs> you're never going to call me Jiraiya, are you again? He's like, oh no, I'm just going to call you a mixture at times. Jiraiya, pervy sage. Just to keep you on your toes. He's like, uh, disrespectful blonde brat. And then he just can hear Naruto chuckle. He goes, actually, Jiraiya, I need to tell you something. He, which Naruto sits down, Jiraiya already finished making breakfast, and he puts a plate down. He goes, yeah, what is it? He's like, after we eat, okay? Which Jiraiya can see the seriousness in Naruto's eyes, and he nods. So, they eat breakfast, clean up the you know, plates, and basically glasses, and Naruto and Jiraiya are sitting back at the table. He goes, okay, brat, tell me what's up. He goes, Actually, the whole entire Kurama's chakra, I mean, well, the Kyuubi's chakra, that basically gave me the whisker marks, that was true. Half of it. It wasn't really the 100% all, all of it. That's what me and Kurama, I mean, blah, me and basically Kyuubi thought. But, actuality, it was a seal put on, on me. He goes, huh? Okay, lift up your shirt then. He go, he just nods. So when he does, he sees it's the regular seal that Naruto have in canon. But the thing is, they looked. he looked at the seal and he could tell there was something missing there. And from the faint lines of it, he could tell it was a Genjutsu seal. Of, desire, of the person's desire. Which then he realized. When Shirai gets up, he was like, no, Minato... No, no, he would not do that. Which, he, Naruto just chuckles. He goes, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know who it was, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. Which, which then Jiraiya goes like, So the whisker marks were just again jutsu that the seal put on you, and to have you to say you are a jin, you basically could be the actual, you know, soul to jin jerky, you know, based on the nine tails inside of you, or you are the nine tails itself, or you just are the, everyone thinks you're just a Jinchuriki, not the whole tire separate the soul and the chakra. Which Naruto nods and goes, also another thing <sighs> My biological father and mother effed up. Which she goes, huh? You can't take away the chakra from the soul. If you do, the chakra will just go right back to the Biju. But the thing is, it's how much that goes back. How much has my sister been using? He goes, well, she's only been using it every three months. Giving her body a rest from it and getting stronger. And then handle it more, trying to handle it for hours on end. But the rage and the hatred for in that chakra is so much, she basically loses control like right away. Which, Naruto says... Because without the soul c to control it, it's just a wild beast. And what do wild beasts do when they try to leave? Dandraya realized to go back home. It was, yep. So all that chakra that's basically she's been using for those split moments and time goes back to the QB. But the QB has more chakra than that chakra that seeps back into him. Is so technically instead of it being hatred and malice, it's purified to be again his chakra, not just a buns of hatred. So he goes. So that means the QB is technically an entity that basically is, can regenerate chakra over time, which he nods. So he goes. So that means that we. Can't no one can kill it, no one can separate the chakra, and even if we did, the chakra would just go back to, well, regenerate from the biju itself, because it's chakra. It can't be. He goes, uh-huh. He goes, no wonder why no one's ever done that. Everyone knew, but why did it? Because Minato didn't think ahead. He was just worried about saving the village, and it's basically his wife. Lucky enough that <laughs> somehow, in some way, 
you know, everything worked out for him and his daughter. Which he goes, you're not going to consider, he goes like, like I said already, I don't consider him my father or my mother, my mother. So now that he's my mom, the Cubie's my father. At least he actually tries to give me advice and even basically, how should I say this? Or is about my mental health. Health. Besides Tsunade. And Shizun. And Yami. And Tucci. In which... Basically... Jiraiya is shot by that. But at the same time, he just says, I wish I could actually thank the fox, then. <laughs> I'm... I guess I'm not on that. He goes, like, oh, no, that was before you even came along. I mean, you're basically one of those people, too. Then it was, um, you, Gao, and then Hiate. Wait, yeah. Yeah, Hiate, basically. So I have a good friend, pe- you know, people, even including two people my own age that care about me. Shikamaru and Choji. And now friend, Ino. But for some reason, anytime I'm around her... Especially when we were in, like, the whole entire class and there was Sasuke Uchiha, she was fangirling over him. She always took a glance at me every so often. For some weird reason. I had no idea why. But anyways. Yeah, so, let's go get that sword now. Which, Mr. Dry just nods. He was like, well, since technically, Minato and Kushina and Nuriko are going to be here. Basically, coming here today, we'll get it. And how about this? We also change your name. He goes, huh? Really? He goes, yeah. Why not? He goes, <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. So, basically, what name? What last name should I take? Because every got an idea for the first one. Which, he goes, really? Alright. Hmm. Since so technically... So now is your mother, and is the the well, technically they're walking, they're getting their basically stuff ready. So Jirai says, and the QB is your father. I think it'll be the best bet to take the name Senju. Wait, Senju. So how about we actually go to Sonade and ask her? She goes, <laughs> yeah. I mean, basically says to Karama, he goes like, hey, Dad, can I tell him your actual name? He goes, eh, he can't do, he can't do anything. So, basically, the process is happening. He thought it was going to be painful, painful, but it's not. So, in a sense, yeah. Also, Midna is there, so she kind of sees the Triforce that's going in the cage. You know, seeping out, like, the chakra is slowly not painful at all. Surprisingly. So, basically, what happens, you know, in order to basically tell Jiraiya, he goes, uh, Jiraiya, the <clears throat> fox name actually has a name. All tail beasts have a name. He goes, huh, really? I mean, I know about the one tails. I, I actually forgot about that, actually. He goes, yeah, it's, um, it's Karama. He goes, huh, Karama. Well, then, he basically looking at Naruto through base. Basically, he could tell there's, like, it's just Naruto, but... Because of the seal, and how close Naruto and the QB are, so he thinks that Kurama can basically hear him. He goes like, thank you Kurama for looking after Naruto for me, and protecting him, until I came along. And keep protecting him to this day. I owe you so much. Which, Kurama just scoffs at that, and says, Naruto, tell him he owes me nothing. I mean, at least he came back to do his job. If he didn't, I would have taught you the Rasengan and basically shove it up as an Naruto cuts the mental link and goes, <laughs> um, he says, he scoffed and says, it's no problem at all. And, um, if you didn't come and do your job, he would have had me learn something to shove it somewhere where the sun does not shine. Wish Jiraiya knew right away. <laughs> and back the way, he was like, uh, don't tell me he was going to. He was like, he taught, he told me about the wrestling gun, yes. He goes, basically, all of a sudden his face goes pale. He was like, it's a good thing I came back right when you were six. <laughs> Which Naruto just nods. So, after that, um, they do go to a weapon shop, basically for ninjas. 
So, they basically look around. Naruto does not take no interest in a sword. So they go to Higarashi's weapon, I mean, well, ninja store. And when they, when Naruto drives, sees there's a girl with basically buns, her hair in like two buns, uh, wearing a paint Chinese, like, basically shirt. Has a Kona headband, her hair is brown, and she's at the cash register. Basically, excuse me. Which Naruto goes like, wait, isn't that? So he basically looking at this at the girl that's at the cash register, and he goes, basically the girls look at him. He goes like, hey, didn't I meet you at school once, before you graduated? She goes, yeah, you're Naruto, right? He goes, yeah, and you're what's the name again? Uh, Ten Ten, right? And she goes, uh huh. So what are you here for? He's like, well, I'm here with my godfather just to buy a sword. She goes, a sword? Oh, um, two-sided sword. Not a katana or a nadachi. An actual, two, like, double-sided sword. So I can swing left or right. She goes, uh, oh. Um, I don't think most people even use those nowadays. But I don't think we even have... As in all of a sudden, a man comes out from the back... Basically, having basically an apron on with basically a white shirt underneath it and basic and gray shorts, well pants, with black boots. He was like, "Huh, a natural sword." Well, I actually have a couple of them. Well, in the back, which he goes, "Dad," he goes, "What? Those are basically things that are out of stock, so I always well keep them just in case for scrap metal." Uh I do actually have one that's actually in perfect condition. It's been technically an old friend of mine's sword that I keep in shape. Which Naruto and Jiraiya, you know, kind of look at each other. Which Naruto's thinking, okay, this is just way too... Too convenient. But it does make sense, though. So. Basically... Tenten's father, just Higurashi, let's just call him that, basically comes out, and it's basically what you basically would see from Nor no, not from Naruto, from Link's first sword, that is basically what it looks like. So, yeah, um, this is Twilight Princess, first sword, you know, what you have. But the thing is, though, this sword's gonna have a little bit more, basically, of actual seals on it, along with the sheath. So, I'll explain it. But anyways, so, what happens is, after he basically brings it out, technically, Midna's actually surprised, because it looks almost similar to Link's first sword, before he got the Master Sword. But she does not say anything. So, what happens when, after he unsheaths it, he basically just puts it on the counter as Naruto's look at it. He goes, wow, you've been keeping this in good condition. He goes, uh-huh. I even basically added, well, only a few extra things to it. He goes, seriously? Like what? Well, storage seals. For all, first off, my friend already had already three extra seals on this sword. One is to basically keep the weight to become basically lighter or heavier. Always to keep him in shape. Secondly, it actually cannot basically rust. Thirdly, well, actually, you know, rust and be sharp, always sharp. And thirdly, is if he uses an elemental jutsu on it, the chakra basically will go into the seal as then it converts into the sword. I don't know how he did it, but he did say he got it basically done by an Uzumaki. I honestly don't know who. Which well, I can tell that he's lying. <laughs> Basically. So, Naruto was like, are you willing to part, part with this? He goes, eh, it's just been going on here with dust. And besides, the, the storage seal is basically is around the guard of it. You have like, at least two or three of them. And they can actually hold a lot. I actually, well, asked a well, seal master for help. 
And he looks at Jiraiya. And Jiraiya just realized. He goes like, he goes, you were the one who asked for those seals. He said, like, uh-huh. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Jiraiya. He's like, you look so different. He goes, that's what happens after four years. He goes, Which Naruto was like, four years? He goes, uh-huh. Anyways, though. I figured this sword will fit nicely in your hands. Besides, I have a strange feeling I sh Well, I need to give you this. When Naruto basically, you know, grabs the sheath and the sword, he actually can feel it actually is pretty... Like, it just it wasn't made for him, but it just feels like he has a good grip and it won't slip out of his hand. But then, well, Tenten's father, Higurashi, says, Oh, yeah, by the way, the sheath basically has a couple other things, too. One, another storage on the actual sheath allows you to hold only more kunais and shurikens and anything else. The others basically only can hold, like, holds at least maybe... Half of stuff, as I can say. I don't know what, but my friend got that one. He says it can hold something. But I never been trying to. I've been trying to figure it out for a while now, for the past four years. Which Shirai was like, uh, can I see it? He was like, which Naruto shows him it. He goes, uh, this is, this is technically another storage, but, uh, yen. He made it specifically for Yen? Which, technically, I know regular storage scrolls can hold money and stuff, but I'm saying this one can is like a pocket dimension of wallet. Seriously, if you really think about it, how much gems does a single bag hold in Legend of Zelda? To me, it's just like, there's a set number, yes, but this is like, how? So in my sense, this is technically the way how Naruto will actually hold his money. I love the other storage scroll, other storage, you know, markers on there, but this one's just specifically for money. Which Naruto's like, uh, huh? Wait, how much yen is in there? He was like, I, I don't know. Um, wait, you need to use a, uh, huh? Just chakra? It should only be like a blood seal or basically only be resonated with someone's chakra. But he goes, uh, no. My friend said if someone else was actually, how should I say this, worthy of taking it or something? I don't know. He said something while he was drunk about only someone that actually is, you know, worthy of holding his sword whatever he asks us his money. His life savings, I guess, he said. But until then, no one will ever get it. So, Naruto just shrugs and be like, alright then. So, as soon as he basically puts, like, some chakra into the seal, after Jiraiya told him how, you know, told him to. I mean, just for this one. Just a, a small amount. Let's just say this. Mm, 25,000 Rio pops out of it. And onto the floor. Which well, Naruto just looks at uh, facing Hikarashi and goes like, What was your friend's rank? Ambu. Um, Why? He was like, I, I, I really think your friend had a lot of money on him and I may be rich. I'm not spending my, much of this. But he goes like, I will technically need kunai, shurikens, some extra storage scrolls. Just for show and just anything else. Um, medical pack. Weights. Um, technically, actually, not weights because I'm short. Actual, if you can actually can ha give me a scroll on. Actual resistance seals. That would be great. If you can't, then dry ya. He's like, got it, kid. Never mind about the resistance seals. Um, what else was, oh yeah, ninja wire. And also, anything better than this jumpsuit. Please. Which, that kind of shocks. 10 10. She's like, I thought you said you like orange. It was like, I may like orange, but I'm not wearing a bright neon orange when I'm doing missions. It's stupid. Like, come on. You have to think I'm an idiot to wear, that, wear this outside. 
doing missions. Which she kind of just looked at him like, are you sure about that? He was like, first off, it was an act. Second off, I actually pretended to be an idiot. And third, does someone realize I have no whisker more? Because I've been wondering that this whole entire time. Which then, technically, Ten Ten and Higurashi blink. Blink, blink. They just look at him and be like, wait, what? Which Higurashi is actually kind of confused. And he goes like, which Nora just goes, eh, someone put a seal on me. Don't know how. Must have been when I was born. But basically, whatever they thought I was, I ain't it. And can you keep this a secret from the villagers? I don't want anyone to know. Which, they just nod. So, they get the amount that Naruto basically, you know, asked for. Because Kunai Shurikens, Ninja Wire, Medical Pouch, well, Seal and Scrolls. And also, um, weights. Well, not weights, I mean, uh, and also basically, new outfit. With Naruto, you know, was with Ten Ten. Basically, he somewhat got... It wasn't. It was basically Minda saying, "Like you should get something green, like a tunic." He's like, "Huh? Seriously?" Just yeah. He was um, hmm. Sure, actually, but I'll need something to, to go over the well, the chainmail underneath it or something, huh? So basically, Naruto does find a tunic. And he also finds, well, he's gonna, he basically says he's not going to wear any, like, white, basically, pants. So he got black pants and boots. Basically, he got somewhat similar to Link's outfit. But the thing is, the white shirt and the green is there. It's just the black pants and the boots. Um, he also did get the guards and black gloves and such. But he didn't get the hat. I don't think I'm going to basically have Naruto with the headband only around his arm after he gets the hat. But that's going to be later. That's going to be from someone from a pre as a present. But anyways, so. Excuse me. Basically, well, after he got this dry, I was actually pretty shocked. Basically, though, imagine the tunic and the clothing that Link has in the picture. Is all like looks like it was like basically for ninjas, which Darius was like, huh, impressive. He actually looked good. He was finally actually got some clothing that ain't. Basically, he says an amount of money, which Jiraiya, Ten Ten, and Hikarashi is actually kind of shocked. He was like, oh yeah, villagers overcharging me. <sighs> I'm actually happy I don't have to hide myself no more. Which, Jiraiya technically not to that 1010, and Higurashi are just like. Well, Higurashi is not really shocked, but at the same time, it really was that much. 1010 is just shocked by the, the villagers did that to him. So, in a sense, technically, he basically says that um, the sword was free, and all the money that he technically had on the 25,000 Rio that was on the floor actually covers all of it. So he doesn't have to worry. And which she says thanks to him. But he does say though. Can, is there like. If you get any more lacy like what I'm wearing right now. You know can I just have like copies of it. Which he does not. I mean he will also ask like for like. Because different outfits. Help. And Twilight Princess. You know the one for swimming. Then one for like invincibility armor. But in a sense, it's just gonna be probably the Zoron's, like, you know, swim gear that basically Link gets in the, in the game and manga. So, yeah, but that'll be, like, later on. But anyways, while, you know, Naruto and Jiraiya basically, you know, say goodbye and thanks, Taten just looking at her father be like, did you know about this, Dad? And he goes like, I did, but I didn't think that everyone... Well, people actually charge him that much money. Which, she goes, how much do you thought? He just says a lot lesser amount, like two times higher than normal price. Which she goes, I see. He goes, uh, 
I'll, maybe we should give a discount to him at least. To show that we're not all that bad. Which Tenten kind of agrees. She goes, 5%? Or 15? He goes, 15. Which he nods. So, meanwhile though, while this was happening and Naruto telling Jiraiya everything, Haruzen called the meeting. And as soon as, like, he was already there. He was already waiting. As soon as everyone got in the room, they can tell. The kind old man was gone. Like, basically, Haruzen's old teammates. Donzo, Hamura, so, the other one, I forgot if it, who, like, whose name was which. But basically, I just remember Donzo. The other two was just, like, non-really rememberable to me. So basically, yeah, I think Hamura was the guy or the girl. But whoever it is, the other one, basically just, real like, seeing Haruzen a lot more, like, you know... He's basically has a lot more powerful aura. Let's just say this. After what Naruto told him, he trained. <laughs> he trained. And I don't mean, like, you know, physical training. I mean, he did cage a bunch and, and he had to use chakra control. And, well, he actually did some of his own, like, you know, physical training. He may be getting old, but after training, he felt his limbs being a lot more looser now. So, yeah, Haruzen realized that he needed to train and not just worry about paperwork and running the village. He, like I said, Naruto kind of opened up his eyes. So now, Haruzen basically sees the council. Everyone sits, and immediately, basically the two, one of the two, basically the female, I think, you know, ask him, Why did you call? As in, before she can say more, Don, I mean, not Donza, but Haruzen says, Shut it. If you want to know the reason why I called you, be patient. So, I found out someone was spying on me. Which Dondro basically realized. He goes, crud, crud, crud. Basically, you know what I mean. So, which everyone's kind of shocked. It was like, also, I'm deciding a few things. There'll be an investigation of the civilian council. And the basically, the people that are working under them. So, like, the market. All, the, basically, the people that are in the market are, well, <laughs> gotta be investigated. Which, that kind of shocks Haruzen. I mean, not Haruzen, the, the civilian council. The ninja council. They're clan members, he can't really go against them. But civilians, yes. He goes, like, also, any further ninja-related topics... The civilians will not be a part of. Is that understood? Which that makes everyone on the civilian council so bigger, including the two other elders. Don's just being quiet. He was like, now then, <laughs> to my main reason. I have had at least one person's, how should I say, mind looked into. And I found out very peculiar things. A, my old friend, as he looks at, you know, he's just giving a sideways glance to Donzo. He was like, he's basically being cool, but on the inside he's like panicking. He's like, I do not know what you mean, Haruzen. He was like, oh, <laughs> I see. And with just a snap of his fingers, one Anbu comes in out of nowhere and cuts off his right arm. As everyone can see his right arm, it's just... Like, white. Which, people realize, that ain't normal. Which, Donzo's like, no! Wait, yeah. So basically, Haruzen then, all of a sudden, pin, like, actually, literally, goes to Donzo with how much speed, and actually grips him by his throat, and takes out his left eye. Which everyone can see, is a Sharingan. And he goes, you had Shinsui Uchiha killed, by your own hands, for a Sharingan. So, I'm sorry to say this, old friend, but you hereby of treason. And, as a Hokage, it's my duty to execute you. Which he goes, like, You fool! I am! Without even one second thought, um, yeah, Donzo was killed by Haruzen in front of everyone. 
just to show he ain't no playing games anymore. So, after killing Donzo, he tells the Ambu to take his body to the morgue and, you know, get looked at. Also, he basically uses Kaden Jutsu to destroy the arm. And basically throws Shinsui's eye into the fire. Which everyone was shocked. He was like, now, since he's out of the way, <laughs> I have also discovered many, many ploys and, well, traps, how should I say, that you... The civilians and my two other companions in the past have tried to have me de dethroned. And I already had a messenger monkey go to, well, the daimyo, fire daimyo, and I basically explained my situation. And I did basically ask him to come here to meet in person. He'll be here in two days. I am ruining out the weeds. So, would anyone like to come clean before anything happens? Which no one's saying anything. He goes like, then he looks at the two elders that are just still there. He was like, now, what is the things that you basically said to Don's about me being weak and about the Jinjeriki? Which, they like, you know, basically not saying anything. He was like, oh, yes. I'm being too soft on him because he's a weapon of Konoha. Well, <clears throat> there's also a news that I've been keeping a secret from all of you. We are having special guests coming back to Konoha, and I've also had a, well, I also made a clone to help me look through the actual documents of Konoha of raw laws. Nah, I don't know why I'm having some trouble speaking. But anyways. And I basically cannot wait till I tell them, or should I say tell him, that what he planned is not going to come to pass. So, yeah, that all went down. Um, many different council members tried to protest, saying that you can't do this to us. But yeah, a lot of the, like, some of their shady deals came to pass Heck, the ones who protest went to Ibiki, and Eno's father had a lot of fun getting dirt on them. But that's going to be for later. We're like 42 minutes in. God, I speak too much. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Meanwhile, though, Naruto and Jiraiya are walking, and then he hears someone's, well, sounds of actual screaming at him. Just get his attention. And when he looks back, it's Sakura. He thinks to himself, Oh, great, her. Yay. When she goes, Naruto! Who, basically, who is this and why are you with him? He's like, Um, I'm with, basically, my godfather. She was like, Your godfather? You didn't have no parents. He was like, Then how was I born? He goes, You're an orphan. He's like, Yeah. I have parents. And he just looks out with a dumbfound face. She's like, she goes, still, who is he? He's like, oh, Jiraiya the Toast Sage. Which was, wait, Jiraiya? He's your godfather? Yeah. She's like, then she basically tr gets a plan and basically saying that he, you know, that he should train Sasuke, basically. All this and that, saying how great he is, and then Arthur's like, just looks at Jiraiya and just says, Sakura, can you please stop talking? So, right when she was in the middle of the talking, she basically heard Naruto and it was shocked. She was, uh, huh? D did you say, I said, yeah, I said Sakura. What? You think I was gonna say Sakura Chan? I realized a long time ago that you didn't like me. So I basically just pretended to keep on think everyone thinking that I liked you or I had a crush on you. She was like, uh. so he goes, I just have one question. What do you see in Sasuke? So she tells her a reason. He was like, all right. <sighs> okay, so let me tell you this. If he does not ever ask you out, 
or you know, even want to go on a date with you. He's the one who's missing out on something. Because you're a very nice person, Sakura. Sure, you have your quirks, but who doesn't? And, well, if he doesn't like you, move on. Seriously, that's all I can say. I really hope you actually find someone who actually will actually appreciate you. So, Naruto is basically walking away, but then he stops. And he goes, also, I haven't liked you since I was seven years old. I thought <laughs> you actually would have passed my facade and actually tried to know me. But it looks like your mother or whoever got to you and told you not to be friends with me. Because I remember you actually were nice to me at first. A few times we talked. <sighs> I'm sorry we could not be friends, Harno. But if we're on the same team, maybe we could have. You know, try to start again. And then he walks away with Gerard just looking at Naruto, then back at her. And then, you know, just back at Naruto and just sigh, just walking away. Meanwhile, Sakura unknowingly has, a, like, one tear go down her face. Meanwhile, Inosakura is kind of like, you know, trying to say, yes, finally, we get to be with Sasuke, basically. But even Inosakura realizes what Sakura's feelings for Sasuke and Sasuke's feelings towards her aren't the same. And it's not at Sasuke, they just does not like her. So, she, Inosakura is going to try to convince Sakura, but eh, yeah. Midnight, though, can felt something off of Sakura, so she basically says she'll be back. She just has to go do something real quick. So, in a sense, Naruto says, sure. So, yeah, Minna goes towards Sakura, you know, in shadow form, and she knows something's off of her. It's harder for her to, well, basically, how should I say, move around. She basically realized what Mito said. She needs something to anchor herself in the world of light. The blood on the seal will only work for like a few days until, you know, even if she's in shadow form, she'll have a harder time, harder time moving or using her powers. So she needs something to anchor herself into the world of light. And she sighs. She doesn't want to ask Naruto for his, you know, to use any of his life energy or something to keep her there, but still. So... When Sakura is just looking at Naruto, she does not notice anything. So, as soon as Minna goes into her shadow, she basically goes into her mindscape and she hears someone crying. And so, who she sees is Inner Sakura. In a sense, there's something really off of her. She can sense it from her. She's like, um, excuse me? She's like, she turns back and Inner Sakura, how we always see her, she has like, no, you know, eyes are just like all white. She was like, "Who are you?" Basically, she was like, "Um, Minna, you are." She goes, "Sakura," well, the inner version of her. She was like, "Huh, how did that came to be?" She was. She kind of explained how when she was younger and such, how basically people kept making fun of her because of her big head, and that kind of made her confidence drop, and how she wanted to be stronger, so she made a nerd personality to cope with it, and. You know, all that stuff. And basically just a little bit more. Because Minna and her kind of had a talk. I can't go into so much. But basically it's just this. She asks why she doesn't like Naruto so much. And she kind of explains it. But then at the same time she also explains that Sasuke is never going to show us, you know, anything. You know, any feelings towards us. So she was going to have other you know, actual Sakura to try to be friends with him. But it seems like that ship already sailed a long time ago. So, as soon as Minna puts a hand on her shoulder, she can already tell there's something off, basically, with her, you know, and Sakura, but it's mostly with her. Basically, like, the hidden potential within Sakura is only in inner Sakura. So, she basically explains how, basically, Twilight, the realm of, basically, of Twilight, and how her world works, and there's magic, and that's called Twilight Magic. And then technically the world of light, they have their own magic, but it's gone, basically, in the world of light. So it's all, everyone uses chakra. But for some reason, she has a combination of both. The world of the light magic and the twilight magic. 
and she does say that there was a person that actually disappeared from the Twilight Realm oh, before before basically a lot of the stuff happened, like good over a hundred years ago. Which, well, that kind of caught just inner Sakura surprise, and she does say she technically needs something to help her stay, you know, in basically in the world that's, you know, light without having any problems. So, a little deal is made. Technically, she can make a choice, like, you know, she basically can leave basically, you know, Sakura's mind and such, and kind of, kind of become her, like, you know, basically how she kind of stay in the world of light, even though it was light outside when Link was stuck as a wolf. How she was dying, but then Zelda saved her by life energy sacrifice, I guess. So, in a sense, it's gonna be something similar to that, but it's kind of more of a, it just, like, it'll just, like, she'll just turn into light particles and just go into Minna and yeah, Minna's able to stay in the light in the light but having no problems. So yeah. Basically the, she said she can use her Twilight magic to make a clone or basically a, a physical copy of her with you know all her pre all her memories and such. Or just like actually have like some part of her, you know, staying here. I mean, Twilight Magic is not, we don't know of, so it's, I think they actually can make a process of that. Which, technically, other Sakura just says, don't worry. So she basically creates a copy. It's uh, She basically is in Sakura's mind, so... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So basically, there's a copy of her just there. And basically, she goes, do you understand the gist of what's going to happen? She goes, uh-huh, I'll be staying here. You know, basically try and make friends with Naruto. You know, for both of us. Which, basically, uh, the inner Sakura nods. So there's two inner Sakuras. Basically, Sakura number one is the one who's going to be leaving. So she goes, how do we do this then? She goes, just take my hand. And, yeah. So, that happens. Um, she becomes light with also little black with yellow outline ball of light and that goes into Minna covering her and she basically can feel like she's back to you know not moving so sluggish so she basically says thank you to the second inner Sakura and she just nods so Minna goes back into Naruto's shadow and we do do a little bit of a time skip um basically like a couple of days because Naruto was actually trying to get used to the weight of the sword. After a couple of hours of training with it that day, he realized he needs to actually get used to the sword. So he does have a couple of days. The whole entire thing with Konohamaru does happen. Um, Zeb Ebisu does get defeated actually very quickly, to be honest. I mean, because he does have resistance seals, and Naruto's constantly training. And, you know, his... With the sword, too, on his back to make it heavier. Does help. So, in a sense, I mean, he's not able to defeat a Chunin, or a Jonin. No, he's... Basically, he does defeat him for the act of Shadow Clones of an army. And not use the, you know... Sexy Jutsu. This time. Which Konohamaru still makes him his rival and says boss. So, in a sense, that does happen. Um, they just took a normal photo. Haruzan did like the outfit he was wearing. Now it's the day of the Genin's, jo you know, Jonin's assignment. Since Naruto technically has been the dead last, it's going to be the same team. But Naruto and Sasuke is going, relationship is going to be a lot more different. So I was going to see Naruto as a challenge to his, well, for him to get stronger, but it's also going to be like he's going to be angry at Naruto. So in a sense, when Naruto does walk into the room, everyone was shocked because Naruto's not wearing the actual jumpsuit that he wore in canon, you know, the orange one. He's wearing basically his normal green tunic 
black pants, boots, guards, and black, you know, hands, gloves. Ugh. Give me a minute. Alright, so everyone have a question in their head on why is Naruto here, but also why does he have, you know, a whole new outfit. And he has a sword on his back. Is he going to get a shield later on? Yes. It's just, I don't see the Kona actually having a shield. I do see outside of Konoha. You'll find out. But basically, is this. When Naruto does sit down, um, no one's going to like, everyone kind of sees the headband, so no one's going to ask him. But then all of a sudden, Ino comes over. She's basically like, hey, Naruto, when did you get a new look? He was like, um, a couple days ago. And, uh, why are you not fond over Sasuke? And why are you here so early? She goes, oh, well, easy. Why would I like the duck hair Uchiha? Which, that makes everyone stop. And Sasuke just looking at her. Naruto's just looking at her blinking. He was like, huh? Can you repeat that? He was like, why would I like the duck-haired butt Ichiha? He's like, uh, um, uh, <clears throat> are you sure you're Ino Yamanaka? Are you sure you're just, you, you, are you? Please. <laughs> she, she just sighs and like she literally sits next to Naruto. She's like, why would I basically want to be fun over a person who broods a lot doesn't give him the time of day, and who acts like, well, he's better than everyone else, just because of his clan. I mean, I like to be around people that are, well, a little more cheerful, and not so, has, how should I say this, he goes, a stick up there, he goes, yeah, that. And he kind of just chuckles, he goes like, wait, then, why did you, he goes, always yell at you for being a baka? To be fair, it was easy that you were basically hiding your true talents. Because, uh, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, you know? She just basically kind of has like a amused smile on her face. She goes, Alright then, Uzumaki. And for some reason, Naruto's thinking, Was that really that obvious? Where's the Mina Kurama saying no? She just paid a lot of attention to you then. Which Naruto thinks, Wait. Is she a stalker? Like, an actual fangirl me? That actually gets some questioning, and which then everyone can see Naruto actually thinking about that. Which Ino can already tell. She was like, no, I'm just very good paying attention to people in class. I mean, remember, my dad's head, like, part of basically... How should I say this? He goes, interrogation? She goes, yeah, and besides, that's what's best with my clan. So... He goes, oh, the keen awareness of people. Gotcha. And then he just kind of realized, you've been, she just nods. And he was like, well, it looks like I wasn't the only one that was actually not holding back. And which they just hear, like, Sakura running in. And she goes, yes, I'm here before Eno Pig. And then when she looks, she sees Eno's right next to Naruto, sitting right next to him. She was like, Eno, why are you... Which, basically, yeah, I think my voice cracked. Basically, she goes, Eno, why are you next to Naruto, Baka? And then she goes, because I can, Billboard Brow. And besides, you can sit next to the Uchiha. I prefer to sit next to Naruto. In which Naruto's literally just looking at Sakura, then back at Eno, then back at Sasuke. <laughs> Well, at Sasuke and then back at Sakura. And for some weird reason, he just thinks to himself, Hey, um, Dad? He goes, Yeah, kid? Why do I feel bloodlust? A small, slowly building up bloodlust? He goes, Oh, Hugo girl. Oh, the stalker. Yeah. Figures as much. Which Mino's like, Wait, 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 what? He goes, Yeah. Hinata Hyuga, she stalks me when I train. For some other reason. I mean... She basically faints. 
and she blushes and stammers. I looked up basically that in a book. It's called basically she being a sh well shy, or second thing, they're around a the guy they like, they'll stammer out and blush and then faint. And basically, I counted how many times Hanata faints in class because of me. Is it? It was like at least the exact same number. He says that was in the book, which Kurama just nods. So Min is just like, you know what? I'm not gonna question it. So yeah. So I mean, he was. I, it's just admiration. It's not really you liking me, but still, she thinks she does. I saved her one time, and that's all it is. She's like, you don't think she actually likes you? Like, first off. I mean, he literally says, first off, she legit just looks, watches me from afar, never has any contact with me, that's the second thing. And anytime she, you know, anytime I try talking to her, she'll look, she won't look at me in the eyes, and, you know, I'm not trying to say it's, you know, it's a bad thing, it's just, how can I like her when I know nothing about her besides her clan and what they do, and she doesn't really know me? personally, just what I'm basically capable of, of. In which, Minda slowly nods at that, he, you know, he can see mentally. So, in a sense, after his little conversation, you know, it's just like, um, you okay, Naruto? He's like, yeah, sorry, just was thinking of something. He goes, oh, you mean about the little bit of bloodlust from Hanata? He goes, yeah. Which, she, she literally just looks at him and like, you think she likes you? You know, basically she has a little grin and he goes like, oh, no, it's just admiration. You know, hero, worshipping, that's all. She goes, huh? So he kind of explains how he basically helped Hanata out when she was younger. And ever since then, she's been, you know, following him around. Even when, you know, he pretends he doesn't even know. In which, she's actually kind of shocked. But how does he know the difference? He goes, well, for one thing is, if you really look at when two people are in love, and then when Hanata looks at me, it's just kind of obvious. That's all. And so, I mean, Eno kind of looks back on it, and nods. So, after that, Iruka does come in, and he basically says the exact same thing he would in canon, and about you know, teamwork and comrades and such, and the teams, they're all the same. Which Naruto just sighs and be like, oh, of course, I'm with... <sighs> I'm with the Uchiha and Haruno. Well, you know, have fun on your team. So, in a sense, she basically just says thanks, and legit goes over to, you know, Shikamaru and Choji, which Shikamaru was like, so you're finally acting like your real self? He, she goes, uh-huh. He's like, great, hopefully you'll be less troublesome this time. When we actually try to train together. And where Choji just kind of chuckles with Eno just says, You know, she I can still beat you in Shogi. And she goes like, eh, don't remind me. My father still laughs at me every time I, every time I basically play with him. And I'm almost about to win. And where she grins. And she basically Choji goes like, so you're gonna stop using that genjutsu around your, you know, mark, your birthmark. She goes, uh huh. So when she stops, Naruto sends the chakra release. When he looks over, she sees Naruto. Wait, no, she sees Naruto looking at her with well, eyes wide and in shock. And then she kind of, she already know Naruto has the same mark, and she kind of already found out about the family secret. And she kind of just grins at him. And just waving hi. And which. Min <laughs> basically comes out of the shadow. You know, only he can see. And she's like no way. He goes. And he literally says. She's. The descendant of Princess Zelda. The reincarnation. Which. Min is just like. That. That makes no sense. But at the same time, she showed different personality, like you. Then Naruto realized, 
Oh my god. Eno's not a fangirl. She was just playing everyone. In which... I mean, kind of like, you know... Kind of people were just looking at Naruto when he was looking at Eno. They kind of was wondering what was up with him. But then, you know, everything went back to the normal. So... All the teams leave. You know, Kakashi's late. And Naruto legit just practiced, I would say, his taijutsu. That his true taijutsu fight. About, you know, fighting style. Which Sasuke and Sakura were actually kind of shocked that Naruto was not, you know, doing his awful taijutsu. So, in a sense, Sasuke goes like, hey, dope. How come you basically are using a different Taijutsu style now? He goes, ah, Simple Tem. I hit my true skills. Simple enough. Hold up. Alright. After Naruto said that, Sasuke is like, What do you mean? He was like, Simple. It's better off I hit my skills than actually to reveal them all and show off. Which Sasuke is just like kind of mad, but. I mean, it's it makes a little bit more sense with Sakura just like being very, you know, very shocked. But then she was like, "You're still a Baka, Naruto." Because like, uh, how am I a Baka? I mean, I pay attention to most of the, most of the stuff in class. She's like, "No, you're always asleep." He goes, "Pretend to sleep. It helps me out when I basically can stay in class instead of being kicked out." And also, the libraries are very good for gathering basically multiple different informations on the subjects that, you know, I need to learn. So, that kind of shocks them both, and then basically, you know, they're quiet. Naruto just does a few more, you know, taijutsu katas that he knows, and, you know, then he stops. So, he goes back to a receipt and opens up a actual, well, takes out a scroll and opens up and actually starts reading. Basically... This is this is kind of like one of Jiraiya's like a special training for him. So because I mean, if you really think about it, because the seal is orb, eight tails were for chakra from you know Karama, his new chakra. Naruto's reserves and morphing you know will happen soon. So he's basically kind of also like in studying about oxes and animals. And basically the patterns and such, but also about, you know, trying to come up with an actual fighting style for, you know, as a fox, you know, for a fox style, which technically, what I mean by, you know, actual learning or creating a fox style is really just QB, just actual, just tell him about it and legit just tell him all the information, including like the more advanced stuff. Which Naruto just wrote down in each different section. And basically, like I said, Jiraiya gave him it because Jiraiya found the scroll when he was younger. I gave it back to him. So yeah, anyways. So, after him reading for basically maybe a good 25 minutes, Kakashi comes in says, My thoughts on all of you is, you're all boring. Meet me on the roof. Which, you know, he basically puffs into smoke. And, well, technically, Sasuke, Sakura, you know, walk up to the door. Naruto does, you know, does this, you know, does the same as them. But in a sense, he legit just doesn't walk with them. He actually just starts running. Because he honestly just wants to get there and done. So, what happens is very simple. When they go up there, everything just goes the same. Everything from Naruto would go exactly the same, with just a few things, with actually a lot more stuff he likes. But then he says, my dream? Which everyone's thinking, he's in and shout out being Hokage. He's like, it's to explore the world. Find some, find something new. You know, actually write about it, maybe. Saying what it was like. Learn some new things and experience. And <laughs> have adventure. In which that kind of shocks them. Which Kakashi... Well, not Kakashi, but with Sakura goes like, uh, Didn't you say you wanted to become Hokage? He's like, he basically kind of just like saying, At one point I did. I gave up on that dream. 
Right now, I just want to have my adventure, explore the world like Jiraiya, the to you know, the Toe Sage, did. In which, basically, Sakura realizes, you know, when he said Godfather, Jiraiya, the Toe Sage, you know, she goes like, she's thinking, just like his grand, you know, Godfather, which, Kakashi's thinking this is very strange, because his new attire and the sword on his back, he was told by Haruzen that Naruto is different. More different than what we know of. Because he's been hiding his true skill. So. In a sense. He, Kakashi asked. Do you want me to assess him on his skill? He was like. No. Not at all. You. <laughs> you're probably just going to be following the council. Or the civilian council order. Before I talked to them this morning. Well. I talked to them. A couple of days ago. But yeah. Kakashi got that order. He was actually going to just focus on the Uchiha. So, basically, same in canon, mostly. Only helping with a few things with, with Naruto and Sakura. But, yeah. So, basically, after that, he basically tells them that the true Genin test and that they are going to need to not eat tomorrow. Naruto knows this is a lie, so, yeah. Naruto basically just says bye to them, both of them, and just leave. Sasuke does his thing. Sakura's try to ask him out on a date. He ignores her. And yeah. So, after that day, nothing really happens besides Naruto and Midna talking about, you know, Eno having the Triforce. But, it, like, the tr like, one section of it was glowing. The one that's not Courage. The one that basically is darker. Than, you know, darker than the lighter Triforces. So, they know that one's basically the Triforce of Wisdom. They could, well, they don't know how it's even possible, first off, Naruto saying, because how Eno acted. If it was all an act, it makes sense. He can't wrap his finger around it. But yeah, anyway, so, after that the discussion, you know, and them going to. Jiraiya meets up with him. Technically, Tsunade was actually busy a lot, so they actually go after the team meetings. You know what I mean. But, you know, what they just had. And they talked to Tsunade, and Tsunade was actually very happy. So, basically, he's going to become Link Senju. And that means, she literally says, you're moving in with me. He's like, uh, Huh? She goes, you're moving in. She's like, uh, are you sure? She goes, uh-huh. And he's like, okay, mom. He basically, Kurama's just chuckling, and Naruto's like, and is it, dad, I don't know what to do. I'm just going with it. He was like, that's all you can do with your mom. <laughs> in which, that kind of just makes, you know, Midna chuckle. So, yeah. They went to get Naruto's name changed to Link sends you because no one recognizes the whisker mark without him without Miss Whisker Marks. You know, technically only the kids knew because of Sakura told them. Well, I mean, well, not Sakura. Sakura told Eno, Eno told everyone in class. So, yeah. But, anyways, <clears throat> we go to Haruza's office where three people walked in with one of them looking upset and mad while their one's looking. You know, just, you know, happy and also upset. And the third one, the one with the blonde, spiky hair, looking worried, a little, you know, scared, happy. A whole bunch of emotions, though. Which, Haruzen goes like, Minato, Kushina, a little Naruko. Naruko. She goes like, you're the third Hokage. My father and mother told me about you. He's like, <laughs> but they have. Now, Minato, it's glad to see that you're back in the village, and, well, I would like to say, you know, welcome back. But, before pleasantries and go on, little, little Nuriko, I'd like to ask, did your parents teach you anything about the laws of Konoha? they like, well, my dad taught me everything, but there's one thing, I was technically given a book by Jiraiya, and... Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, technically he told me to read this before I go back to Konoha. So, in a sense, I think I know what this is about. 
In which he goes, huh. You're not being cocky. He was like, oh, uh, heh. Well, arrogant. No, cocky. I am. I know that. I admit it. I came to realize that after Jiraiya's last training session, he kind of chewed me out on it. And I know when to be serious, so, and this is a serious matter. Which he does not, which, which Kushina and Minato are kind of curious what they're talking about. But she goes, oh, if you're wondering what we're talking about is, what talking about is, you basically abandoned the village, Minato. Even if you went to duo train your daughter, you abandoned her, well, not abandoned, you abandoned the village to go train your daughter and never came back until now. You did say you were going to take over the hat when you returned to Jiraiya, and Jiraiya told me. But in a sense, you cannot. Which Mint was like, but, but who's in? He goes, he just holds his hand and like, I'm sorry, Minato, you can't. It's the laws of Konoha. I mean, it makes sense that Kushina would leave because of her time and being pregnant and such, especially with twins. But the thing is, she also left and never came back. You two are essentially missing nins. So as so, you're going to be treated as such. You're lucky you came back before, well, I put you in the bingo book. I did not realize this until recently. So, <clears throat> Minato, Kushina, we are going to have a meeting. And I'm, I'm inviting two people, two people, actually Maybe a little bit more people to the meeting. So, everyone's rounded up. Naruto already got his name changed. Haruzen basically was told, well, gosh, yeah. yeah. Haruzen was told by Jiraiya, and basically Minato, Kushin, and Nuriko were in a different room, which Jiraiya basically told him by Naruto changed his name to Link Senju. And basically, he's already going to move out and be in. The Senju compound, in which Haruzen kind of chuckles at that. Already making a trouble with her. Basically, Jiraiya just nods. So, what happens is very simple. In that meeting room, the, Shen, the Senju basically come back. You know, Tsunade is there. But she also has a blonde haired person wearing a green, you know, tunic, white. You know, basically just what you see in the picture. My black pants and boots. And basically they're well technically and then it's Jiraiya and there's Jiraiya. So basically Haruzen. Not many of the council members of the civilians are there because they were all in prison for treason, selling information, keeping funds basically from the village and trying to get their wallets and mm, the only thing Haruzen left was basically for the fam for the actual wives and the kids that who were not part of the council. Haruzen did explain to what their other, you know, like the husband or the wife did. And once they were shot, then he's saying he's still willing, you know, to actually you know, help them since they had no idea. And he could tell. So they were thankful for him for doing this. So in a sense... New people were also brought in. New younger blood that were told, you know, especially by him, at how things go. And they respect Haruzen enough, so, in a sense. It essentially was the wives or husbands of those people that were, that was basically the head civilian council members. So when they see Naruto, I mean, without the whiskers, no one recognizes at first until, like, so a few civilians you know, that hate him. Take what I mean by hate him. I'm talking about, like, a few of the civilians in that room that were, the, like, the husbands or wives, you know, looking at him. They kind of realize he looks a little bit like the Naruto, but, you know, Uzumaki. But in a sense... Hold up. Okay, so like I was saying, um, sorry, I left off, uh... Yeah, so basically everyone's kind of wondering who he is, they don't know. So I wasn't just saying... Bring them in to the bomb Ambu. As they bring in the people, everyone is shocked to see this. And Naruto is looking with an impassive look, but he basically is angry. 
he also really, I mean, he can't really feel that his chakra reserves are a lot bigger because of the whole entire Kurama's taking out chakra and such, and will basically help him morph into a fox, you know? But, yeah. So anyways, though, when everyone was confused, Hazashi's like, Minato, Kushina! He's like, Hazashi, which, before anything else can say, anyone else can say anything? Haruza says, enough! So, what happens is very simple. He basically explains that night to everyone, and about, there was twins, and Minato thought it would be a good idea since he sealed the chakra of the Ninetales and his daughter while he sealed the soul of the Ninetales and his son. His son was Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze, which everyone was shocked by this. In a sense, though, I mean, sent basically. Uh, actually, wait. Um, just want to say something. I just realized probably Tsunade would have kept have Naruto kept the Uzumaki name, just not it being the middle name. The last name is Senju, so his full name is Link. Uzumaki Senju. That's it. Alright, okay. Sorry, I just realized that while I was in the middle of talking. So yeah, anyways. So. Basically, Kushin's like, Yes, where's my son? He said he was going to be here. And which, technically, Tsunade stands out. He was like, with... She goes, well, after you two left him and you told me, I came back here immediately. When he was around maybe four to one years old. Or in between. And I've been raising him. Along with someone else that's named Kurama. Which, by the way, Kushin does not know who Kurama is. At all. So, in a sense, basically, she's like, You've been raising my child? She's like, Your child, you abandoned Kushina. Just for another child that had basically way more, how should I say, a dangerous power. While well, your son here has been very, very bad treated. You know, beaten. Nearly killed. Been almost assassinated a couple of times. Which, Tenley Ninja Council sort of flinches at that, but along with Civilian Council, who people didn't know, who knew about the beatings and such, but weren't a part of it, but didn't think they were actually that bad. She was like, oh, and you do not want to see the amount of the paperwork that he has on one file. In which that kind of shocks everyone. But anyways, she goes, But in a sense, as of him becoming a Genin, and him becoming you know, part of a team, he technically is, well, an adult now. So he decided to do something. Since I was busy, he couldn't ask me. And now, when you guys come back, he does. Which, technically, everyone's just like looking at the boy that no one knew, but don't realize, which Naruto, you know, comes forward, which Sanadi's, you know, puts her hand on his left shoulder and pulls him in more towards her. She goes like, I'd like to meet, meet my son, Link Uzumaki Senju. Which Noriko is just looking at her brother, you know, her little brother is in shock. Because he looks like their dad, you know, he looks like, her, you know, their dad, but you know, and their mom right now, but for some reason, he's gonna, she has a feeling he's gonna look like their dad more, in which he's like, hi there, Ka-san, Tu-san, or aka okay, mom and dad, or should I say formally, mom and dad, which basically Christian's like, Naruto, it's me, your mother, he's like, nah, I mean, I mean he's like, no, so, no, you're not my mom, my mom would have never abandoned me. But let me ask you a question. How's the Nine Tail Fox's chakra? In which Kushan and Minato are shocked. Nuriko knew about the Nine Tail since she was four and after they explained it to her after, you know, she was bummed out for a couple of weeks. But, anyways, Minato goes, like, How did you? He goes, Eh. Me and him came up with a good compromise. I mean, he was willing to help me out. I mean, actually. He was willing to help me out in general. Because he thought a fate like mine was not deserved. But, um... I mean, he basically, Naruto kind of, you know, jumps over a table. 
to where, you know, he can just walk towards Narco. He does go over and goes like, so, my old sister. I can... He basically closes his eyes and goes like, wow, you're only at, like, not even one tail's worth of chakra of it no more. Which, she kind of is like, kind of flinches at that, which everyone was shot. He goes, ha. Ah. He basically just says, hey, dad, you think you can handle it? He basically says to his head, which, Chroma nods. He basically literally just stick out his hand and like, if you can't handle it, because he keeps on leaving you. He literally, he literally just looking at her and like, sorry sis, but um, the chakra always returns to the soul. Or say, the actual chakra, where it comes from. So in a sense, the more you use it, it just returns back to the nine tails. So, she's like, but, but. He, was, he literally just looks at her and goes, and besides, even though basically Seal is supposed to help filter out the chakra so it doesn't kill you, it's untamed chakra. No, no will behind it besides all that malice and hate. It can. It would have started slowly be killing you more when you get older. And healing you. Which, that kind of which kind of shocked her along with Minato and Kushina. But I mean, he goes, "Oh, come on! It's that obvious. The more chakra she uses in the Nine Tails, it actually will kill her, since it has no will. It's untapped and untamed." You know what? He basically just places his hand on like his right hand on her shoulder as all of a sudden the Triforce occurred, I mean, the Triforce starts to glow, which Naruto is not even phased, because he, he had a theory this may happen, which everyone's, like, wondering what's happening, but then all of a sudden they just see like, red chakras go like, leave, like, actually oozing out of Nuriko, but in a sense it's so tiny amount of chakra of the QB she has it immediately just disappears. Which Naruto is basically hand glows a little bit. You know, and then basically after flexing a few times it stops glowing. He's like, huh. It was really less than I thought. Which Kurama just kind of snickers. Because he was like, not even enough to give me even a second tail. <laughs> and he basically just chuckles back, which Minna's actually kind of laughing. So, in a sense, yeah. Which Naruto's like, uh, am I going to be? He was like, you're going to be perfectly fine now. Your life is in no danger. <sighs> Anyways, Mom, I got to get ready for, well, Kakashi. And he just shunts him away. Which, that kind of shocks. Which then, he was like, now then. <clears throat> back to business. Since, technically, Naruto still kept his name as last, well, middle name as Uzumaki. Which, technically, or should I call him Link now? Which that kind of shocks, basically, you know, everyone in the room. Nuriko, but why? He goes like, which, technically, Jiraiya just sighs, but then, before he even say anything, Sanai goes like, Let, okay, listen here, little girl. Your brother changed his name because his parents abandoned him. Would you do exactly the same thing if you were in his shoes? In his shoes? And she just kind of thinks about it, but then nods. She goes, good. So, he goes, now... Since technically of a lot of technically your well the civilians who have done harm to Link in the past technically they are not going to be you know, severely harmed well I mean ten of the people who actually organized their his hurting and neglect and all this have been already been taken care of. That only leaves you two. And I'll leave that decision up to Sonate. Sonate just looking at Kushina and Minato. She goes, oh, this is going to be very simple. Yeah, so basically, after that, let's just say this. Minato legit gave his freaking research on the flying, you know, the flying thunder god to Sonate. And his, basically, how the kunais, you know, how everything works, how the jutsu works. The wrestling on Naruto said he was going to learn anyways from Jiraiya, so, you know, but also, Uzumaki, the Uzumaki scrolls in the compound was basically, was all filled, heavy came half. I'm talking about, like, the copies. 
She wanted like half of the Uzumaki's actual scrolls, the copies of it at least. So yeah. So she put them into the Senju clan's library. And so though. I'm just going to kind of speed this up because it's been like an hour and 30 something minutes. So what just happens is very simple. The whole entire training exercise, Naruto realizes right away, tries to get Sakura, well, Sasuke first to help, he doesn't. He fights, same thing happens. Sakura, though, Naruto basically gets her out, well, helps her get out of the Genjutsu before, actually, no way. He helps her, before she even gets into Genjutsu, makes a Shaoko henge into her, pretends to be her, then poofs, and they kind of, when Kasha realizes he gets, he gets back over to Sasuke, he's not there. Then they kind of use teamwork. And, yeah. They passed. And that night, though, Naruto's like, okay, so my first journey as a ninja starts now. Well, starts tomorrow. Which Minna's like, uh-huh. Should I really tell your mom about me? She was like, I don't really think so, Minna. She goes, alright. But, um, she kind of just basically stretches. She was like, we got a new bed. She's like, we? She's like, when she raised an eyebrow, was like, what? I can't sleep on the same bed? He's like, nope, just very surprised. Besides, I mean, if even I try to say I'll go sleep on the couch, I have a feeling you'll just force me onto the, back on the well, bed and just make me sleep on it still. Which she kind of just grins at him and then just nods. She goes, you're learning quick. He's like, yeah, <laughs> I had a feeling I need to of you. And which she just chuckles. So, basically, he does ask her, by the way, do you want a new kind of like headpiece or slash mask that you said you wore when you were with Link? She goes, mm, yeah, but we can get that later. Well, good night, Link. He was like, uh, you can call me Naruto still if you want. She goes, hmm, I like Link, but I may have time to call you Naruto. Here you just sighs and you're like, alright then, night, Minna. So yeah, basically, Naruto's falling asleep, Minna's just looking at Naruto, and just has a grin and says, Thanks, Naruto. You really are the best. So, you know, and basically she goes back to hugging him before she sleeps. Yeah, basically, Naruto becomes basically like a teddy bear to her. Nightmares. She tries to sleep, you know, she tries to just, just go to sleep, and then nightmares basically came back of how she was basically turned back into an imp, and of that man, and how the kingdom, her kingdom was basically almost destroyed. Yeah, it was not pretty. I wanted to go in more details on that, but I did too long of other stuff. So next part I will. So bye everyone, have a nice day, night, wherever you are, and bye.